Good morning, dear students. Today we shall begin with the third part of the first chapter, that is introduction of microeconomics. In the previous class, we had studied about what are the causes of economic problems and what are these central problems of economy. So the causes of economic problems were unlimited want, limited resources, and alternative uses. The central problems were. what to produce how to produce and for whom to produce along with this there were two important problems that have also been added recently it was how to achieve fuller utilization of resources and how to achieve growth of resources so the topic for today is production possibility curve production possibility curve also denoted as uh, ppc is a curve showing alternative production possibilities of two goods with the given resources and techniques of production it is also called production boundary or production frontier as it shows the maximum possible production with the given resources and the given technology This curve is also called transformation line or transformation curve because it indicates that if more of good x is to be produced then factors of production will have to be withdrawn from the production of good y and transferred to the production of good x so production possibility curve is a curve that is formulated to show the possibilities of production how much production is possible with given resources and techniques given over here means fixed amount of resources and fixed techniques so whenever we uh, draw this production possibility curve we always assume that with a particular resource only two goods can be produced and this production possibility curve shows the various uh, combinations of possibilities uh, uh, about the amount of these two resources that can be produced it is also called production boundary or frontier because it shows the maximum amount that can be produced with the fixed amount of resources and fixed amount of technology now there is another name that is transformation line or transformation curve this word transformation uh, is used over here because as i have already told you that only two goods are to be produced with the given resources so if uh, production of one particular good is to be produced it, uh, if it has to be increased then the production of the other uh, good has to be reduced so that certain amount of resources can be shifted from uh, like over here the example is about uh, good y so certain amount of uh, resources can be shifted from good y to good x so res resources are going to be transformed from good y to good x let us understand this with an example for example in an economy only two goods are produced namely wheat and cloth with its available resources if all the resources are used for the production of wheat alone then 1 lakh tons of wheat can be produced on the contrary if all the resources are used for the production of cloth alone then 4000 bales of cloth can be produced so if the economy wants to produce both the goods with the available resources various combinations of two goods can be produced 
so over here they have taken the example of wheat and cloth so with the available with the fixed amount of resources these two uh, uh, products can be produced if all the resources are used to produce wheat then 1 lakh tons of wheat can be produced and if all the resources are used to produce uh, cloth then 4000 bales of cloth can be used bales are bundles but uh, the economy would uh, like to balance between uh, the production of these two uh, goods and uh, in order to balance it properly there are various combinations of these two goods that can be produced let us see over here uh, over here there is a schedule a schedule is something uh, which shows the data in a tabular form in the form of a table so this particular schedule is a production possibility schedule so there are two goods that are to be produced that is wheat in lakh tons and cloth in thousand bales and there are five combinations or possibilities that has been mentioned over here so under uh, possibility one only wheat can be produced and uh, cloth will not be produced in possibility two we can see that in order to produce 1000 bales of cloth the economy will have to give up 10 lakh tons of wheat uh, the difference between 100 and 90 that is 10 now uh, possibility c shows that in order to increase the cloth production by one more unit the wheat production will have to be reduced by 20 lakh tons that is the difference between 90 and 70 now possibility d shows that in order to produce uh, 3000 bales of cloth the economy will have to reduce the production of wheat by 30 lakh tons that is difference between 70 and 40 now possibility e talks about uh, putting all the resources in the production of cloth so when that is done 4000 bales of cloth will be produced with zero units of wheat now over here this is the graphical representation of this schedule y axis denotes wheat in lakh tons and x axis uh, denotes cloth in thousand bales and these are the various possibilities that we had talked about so uh, combination a as we can see over here zero units of cloth and hundred units of uh, wheat combination b 90 units of wheat and one unit of cloth combination c 70 units of wheat two units of cloth combination d 40 units of wheat and three units of cloth combination e zero units of wheat and four unit of cloth so this is how um, a curve a production possibility curve is to be made this is your production possibility curve this particular line now whenever uh, you will draw a particular uh, graph you are supposed to describe that graph and that description has to be written something like this in the following graph x axis denotes cloth in thousand bales and y axis denotes wheat in lakh tons possibility a shows one lakh tons of wheat alone are produced 
on the contrary possibility e shows 4000 bales of cloth alone are being produced the other possibilities are showing a combination of wheat and cloth under possibility b 90 lakh tons of wheat and 1000 bales of cloth are being produced possibility c shows 70 lakh tons of wheat and 20 2000 sorry 2000 bales of cloth and possibility d shows 40 lakh tons of wheat and 3000 bales of cloth are produced now another sub topic under production possibility curve is attainable and unattainable combinations of output all points on the ppc or inside the ppc are attainable combinations of output with the given resources and technology thus any point on the boundary line or within it shows attainable combination and any point outside the boundary line shows an unattainable combination of two goods so over here what they are saying is this particular line is your production possibility curve how much production is possible with the fixed amount of resources that particular uh, curve is showing it but many a times the producers are not able to produce the uh, commodity to the fullest they are not able to uh, use the resources to the fullest as a result many a times uh, production that actually takes place is within this particular curve so uh, we can achieve with the given resources we can achieve all the combinations that is mentioned on the production possibility curve or we can even uh, produce any combination which is within this particular curve all these are attainable combinations or uh the combinations that one can achieve but since this particular curve talks about the production possibilities so beyond this line any combination of output is not possible that is why any point outside this curve is considered as unattainable combination or a combination that cannot be achieved that cannot be produced next sub topic is assumptions of production possibility curve now there are three uh, main assumptions when we draw production possibility curve these things are assumed already so the first assumption is resources are fixed i have already told you the resources are fixed in nature and that has to be used in such a manner that maximum production can take place second is resources are fully utilized now a uh, production possibility curve itself shows and it itself uh, portrays that uh, all the resources are utilized fully to its fullest now technology remains same this is very important uh, it is assumed that the technology is not changing it is constant so resources and technology they both are constant there are uh, many a times when resources increase or decrease or technology changes so we will deal with it uh, in next uh, few slides now second uh, the next sub topic is properties of production possibility curve the first property is production possibility curve slopes downwards just now we saw that um, 
the resources are utilized to its fullest as a result if we want to increase the production of other good the previous good or the good that is mentioned over here on y axis uh, the production of that particular good has to be decreased so that the production of cloth can be or any particular commodity that is mentioned on x axis can be increased that is why production possibility curve slopes downwards the second property is production possibility curve is concave to the point of origin the reason behind it is that in order to produce an additional unit of good x more and more units of good y will have to be sacrificed over here we can see that in order to produce one particular one unit of cloth uh 10 units of wheat have been sacrificed and in order to produce an additional unit of cloth 20 units of wheat have been uh sacrificed and again for another additional unit of cloth 30 units of wheat have been sacrificed so all these points once joined it will always become concave to the origin now the next sub topic is rotation of production possibility curve now there there are various movements of production possibility curve uh one is rotation the other one is shift rotation takes place when one point of production possibility curve remains same and the other point changes so the first condition in which rotation takes place is efficient technology for the production of good x if a new technology comes in the market for the production of good x of course with the use of that technology even with the uh, same amount of resources more production of good x can take place as a result the production possibility curve will shift from a b to a b dash there is a shift that is taking place now the production possibility has increased for good x only now the next situation in which uh, rotation takes place is efficient technology for the production of good y same thing over here again if there is an efficient technology uh, for good y uh, that comes up in the market it means that with the same amount of resources uh, there will be higher production of good y and as a result the production possibility curve will shift from a b to a dash b there is a rotation of production possibility curve and this is the difference now shift of production possibility curve the first situation in which there is a shift of production possibility curve is resources are increased when the amount of resources available in an economy increases it will of course increase both the production production of good x as well as good y as a result the production possibility curve will shift from a b to a dash b dash now the next situation is when the resources are reduced when the res resources are reduced 
it means that there will be lesser amount of resources that are uh, being allocated for each of these goods as a result the production possibility curve will decrease it will shift from a b to a dash b dash and the last situation is efficient technology for the production of both good x and good y when an uh, efficient technology is introduced for both these goods it means that even with the given amount of resources uh, all uh, these two goods can be produced in higher quantity as a result the production possibility curve will shift from a b to a dash b dash there will be an increase in production possibilities so that is it for today assignment questions are as follows the first one is define production possibility curve state its properties the second question is why is production possibility curve concave the third question is why does a production possibility curve slope downwards and the last question is what does the rightward shift of production possibility curve indicate so that is it for today's class in the next class we shall study about opportunity cost thank you